Check this out. It's a big, beautiful beach again. Point Farms is back. First day of spring And I just want to sing To everything that's moving Every single little thing To them birds flying free Fish in the sea Flowers and trees Every little bumblebee Welcome to Point Farms Provincial Park where we report to you from atop the bluffs of Lake Huron, right behind us. It's a beautiful view from here. This park is situated on the top of the bluffs. A lot of stairs going down to get to the beach. Approximately, what, 121? Something like that. Something like that. Yeah. We're Cheryl and Ben Coles. We've been camping together for over 35 years. A few years ago, we started doing video reviews of Ontario Provincial Parks to help people when researching places to visit. We are now in season five of our park reviews. We hope this helps you in deciding where to have your next camping adventure. Now let's go camping with the Coles. We only get one life, I wanna make it count. Honey, come on now and take my hand. So in this episode, we are gonna be touring the park like usual. We're also gonna be heading into the beautiful little town of Godrich. It's only Seven kilometers Seven away. Seven kilometers away. South Real of here. Real close. And we're going to do the farmer's market in Godrich. We're also going to do... The rail. Yeah, the rail. old railway trail. It's a beautiful bridge over the river in Godrich. And uh, yeah, join us for that. This will be fun. Point Farms Provincial Park is classified as a recreational park in the southwest and central region near the town of Godrich. This park is perched on a bluff and offers spectacular views of the blue water and the beautiful sunsets of Lake Huron. Well, it's Wednesday before the long weekend. We're getting a bit of an early start. We are heading off to Point Farm Provincial Park. Looking forward to another great trip. Yep. And the weather so far looks pretty darn nice. There's Mr. Sleepy Head back there. Okay, so the office is closed. Apparently it closed at four o'clock. It's uh, 5.30 now. We're gonna go to our site and tomorrow morning we'll come and register. Yep. So the dump station is two lanes. It has two dump spots and there's further ahead two clean water fills. One's on the right side and one's on the left side. All the hoses are threaded here. So this is us, site 131 Colburn Campground. It's a nice big site, has a big tree right in the middle of it, but that's no problem because we can easily fit the trailer with the awning out and the slide out out on the one side of it, and we can fit the truck on the other side of it. Behind the tree, the site opens up, a lot of room around the fire pit, so it's nice for entertaining guests. So that's what you're used to seeing. We've got our usual camping with the coal sign, but guess what? We gotta change out with the old. In with the new. We got a new camp sign. This old one has served us well over the years. This is actually a sign that was uh, in front of my family's home before I was even born. So I've been taking it with us on these camping trips, but we're gonna retire it now. One of our viewers, Kim, she made us this sign. She hand painted it. It is uh, an exact uh, like duplication of our trailer right down. It even has the little uh, moose and bear in the, in the canoe there. Beautiful hand painted sign, living edge wood. Have our dogs on here. So really nice. Kim painted that for us. Uh, if you're looking for something like this, I'll put a link in the description. Now, on with the video.
Let's check out this campground before it gets busy. There are two campgrounds with a total of 150 electric sites and 58 non-electric sites. Colborne Campground has 93 electric sites and 16 non-electric sites. Huron Campground has 57 electric sites and 42 non-electric sites and is radio free. There are six group sites with water taps, fire ring, picnic tables, and a small comfort station with flush toilets. There is a comfort station in each of the two campgrounds. They have flush toilets, showers, and laundry facilities, and they are barrier free. A small comfort station with just flush toilets is in the group camping area. Next to each of the two comfort stations is a children's playground. There's a main beach and a dog beach. Both beaches are nice and sandy and excellent for swimming. There is a dump station located between the two campgrounds. There are two hiking slash biking trails. The Old Farms Trail is a four kilometer loop rated as easy. It winds around the old farm fields and orchards. The Below the Buff Trail is a 0.5 kilometer linear trail rated as easy. There is one hiking only trail called the Ravine Trail. It is a one kilometer linear trail rated as moderate. It has rugged terrain and steep inclines that wind along the side of a ravine. First day of spring And I just want to sing To everything that's moving Every single little thing To them birds flying free Fish in the sea Flowers and trees Every little bumblebee I want to sing Kids playing hoops, going loop de loop. The rainbow colored bouncy balls and their ice cream scoops. Got my shoes in my hand and my feet in the sand. I got 20 ducklings in a row, like a little marching band. register in because it was too late when we got here and the office was closed last night so we'll go do that and get our papers. There are six group campsites, each containing a fire ring, picnic tables, water tap. Um, behind site 402 is a mini comfort station with flush toilets, which is actually very rare to find in group campsite. And there are vault toilets, I uh, believe between 406 and 407 that way. Group site, they will be opening July the 1st of 2023. Any equipment is permitted on site from tents to trailers. There must be a minimum of nine people per site 
up to a maximum of 45. The group campsites are approximately $118 per night, plus your um, additional vehicle permit, which is approximately 14, was it 14.95? There are two comfort stations, one in each campground. They both have flush toilets and laundry facilities and showers. Welcome to the laundry room. We have two washers, $3 a piece with a laundry tub. And we have your tie and bounce dispenser at $1 a piece. And if you follow me over to our dryers here, they are $3 a piece as well. There's two playgrounds, one in each campground. They're next to the comfort stations. The day use picnic area is between the two campgrounds. It has charcoal barbecue, a fire pit, picnic tables, a vault toilet behind. And where the sign is, is a steep path uh, down to the beach area. That's because we're high up on the bluffs. Um, it is a steep uh, incline. So you probably don't want to carry a lot down if you're going to the beach because you're just gonna have to haul it all up unless you're feeling energetic. Yeah, nice open area. Ooh, what do you got there, Cheryl? I've got some amazing, beautiful cookies that Patty and her daughter made. Those are incredible cookies. Nice job. Thanks for the cookies, Dana. Yes. <laughs> nice work. No. Nope. I'm eating the tree. No, I think you have to eat the car. Why? I don't know. Allie wants the, the fire, right? Yeah, I'll save the Can car I have the tree? Brian. Fine. I'll it's, eat like the when I was a, it's like when I was a little kid and I always went for the Christmas tree cookie. Okay. So we're actually going to eat them even though they're too nice. I just want to want varnish them and keep them forever because they're so cute. Oh. Mmm. They're actually pretty good too. Thanks, Dana. And we're so sorry that we just ruined your cookies. The beach is back. Last time we were here in 2019, this beach was pretty much gone. The water was so high, but it's back. Check this out. It's a big, beautiful beach again. Point Farms is back. It's Wednesday, May the 17th of 2023. We are our first night at Point Farms. It's a little bit chilly. I think it's like almost zero degrees. Um, windy. I don't know if you can see how choppy the water is. What's the temperature, Ben? Cold. Temperature is cold. That's what it is. Yeah, it's very cold. Start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and 21, two, three, four. So 
By my count, it was approximately 125 steps, give or take one. It would be lovely if all provincial parks posted their sign, their map of the park on the trails, then we wouldn't get so lost. Thank you, Point Farms, for doing that. Cheers. May 2 4, 2023. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. It's Cheryl's Lou Review. Lou Review. Let's all talk about Lou. Don't ask Ben, don't ask Jack, ask Cheryl, Cheryl's Lou Review. So there are two uh, brick outhouses throughout the park. One is down at the beach area. It has flush toilets. There are four of them and they come with uh, sink soap, paper towels, garbage, hooks. You name it, they got it. Mirror and I think solar lights too. Um, the vault toilets on the most part are pretty good. They are the same. They are just a hole in the ground though. They are um, nice and bright inside, painted white. They have soap, running water, paper towels, mirror, garbage can, hooks, feminine disposals in most of them, and a stool. I think this one does right there for the little ones to climb up. So that's all fought through. Um, it's the beginning of the May long weekend, so they're still fairly fresh. No smell as of yet. Um, they look to be in decent shape. I'm going to give them a flower. Godridge sits atop the scenic bluffs overlooking beautiful Lake Huron. The town of Godridge, known nationwide as the prettiest little town in Canada, has been named by Chatelaine Magazine as one of the 10 best places to live in Canada and identified as one of the 20 great places to live by 50 plus magazine and that's why we're going there right now we're going to check out the farmers market in godrich and see if we can get into some good tastiness and check out some other stuff What do you have? Cherry turnover. Well, and there's, I got a lot of cinnamon bun for you, Ben. <gasps> you didn't get that so, for me. I got that for you. You got that for me? Yeah. You owe her, Ben. Oh. There you go. She got it thank for me. To, thank you to Patty. I got my cherry turnover. <laughs> I have a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> Trail in the neighborhood. In a way, that's how it's supposed to be. If 
I'm unable to make you happy, then it's for the better that you are not with me. That's why I wrote you a letter, cause you see, I write so much better. The Minnesotan Bridge. It doesn't feel like it was long ago. We were head over heels in love, thought it lasts forever, but somehow we got lost. I've got pickle vinegar and saw sour cream and onion salt. Here we are. Three. By three, yeah. you had One, a Yahtzee, two, right? Three, four. Did Jamie have a I, Yahtzee? Nobody else. Uh, no, she had the Yahtzee Mojo. That's why. When you come down to the dog beach, you have two different types of terrain. You can see this dog beach is on a point right here. If you go down this way and you go into the water, it's kind of big boulders this size, that sort of thing. So the dog's gonna be running on, uh, on these big boulders and rocks. But if you come down this way towards the uh, people beach, you can see there's a sign right over there that says uh, where the dog beach ends. If you go in the water right here, it's a nice sandy bottom and uh, it's much better if you're going into the water with your dogs. The parking lot is right behind me back here. For cell service, we can talk about our usual, which is Bell, Kudo, Telus, Virgin Mobile, but we can also talk about Rogers, Rogers. and Fido because we spoke to a few people about that. Mm -hmm. And basically everybody, all the services, those good. ones anyway, yeah, not good. Not great. No. Like, I mean, you can do texts, basic... Um, Phone calls yeah. and texts. But, uh, yeah, to try yeah, to... Yeah, that, it's not great. <laughs> yeah, if you're trying to uh, watch YouTube or research things, uh, it's very hit and miss. It's uh, not good at all. And uh, everybody we spoke to basically mm -hmm. had the, the same, same thought of that. I guess the best service is at the beach. Um, if you are having trouble getting service, you can always go to the uh, registration desk. Mm -hmm. uh, at that little building there, there is it's free Wi-Fi. Wi so there's some picnic tables outside. You can sit at the picnic tables and uh, get your Wi-Fi there. Mm -hmm. So that's that. So this has been uh, a trip of problems. Our friend Mike has his StarCraft here and has a slide out at the back. 
the slide out was binding and not going in properly. Uh, search of the manual showed how to do a manual override of that. So they undid the brakes on it and a whole bunch of us got in the back and manually pushed it in. So it's a quick fix for now, but it's a good thing there's a lot of us here because it took uh, what, five or six of us to push that sucker in. So everybody's here just to say goodbye when this happened. Few minutes later, next problem. We're trying to head out for a bike ride. Patty's got a flat tire. So we're working on that right now. Believe it or not, Cheryl has the tools to fix this. We probably have a double set, but uh, we've got the tools to fix this, so we're working on it now. So that's another problem solved. We'll see what's coming up next. Hopefully nothing else. It doesn't matter that you're with someone now. It's time for Cole's Notes for Point Farms Provincial Park. And we're coming to you from our backyard. Yes, something different. Yeah, normally we do our Cole's Notes at the campsite on the last day of filming, and we give you our, uh, our thoughts on the park. But our last day was a little bit hectic. Yeah. It was a little bit yeah. stressful. Yeah. So we're doing this from home. We'll get into that in a little bit. So Point Farms, I mean, we've been there many times in the past. It's a gem of a park. We love it there. It's not a huge park, it's small, but it's clean, organized, staff are nice, friendly. Yeah, uh, well Point, Point Farms is the type of park that uh, it doesn't have a lot of great hiking trails or a lot of activity to do. No, there's no visitor center, no store. No, for us it's a park that we like to get together with our friends at. Mm -hmm. It was the May 2-4 weekend and we had... Uh, eight, there was eight, I think eight of Eight couples. Eight families, yeah. So uh, it, was, it was great to get together with them and uh, we did some of the hiking, we did a little bit of cycling on the roads mm -hmm. and spent some time at the beach because we yes. had some good beach weather. Yeah. The sites there, uh, especially in Colburn. Yeah, they're, they're pretty uh, private and flat, except what I've noticed, I don't know if it's a point farms thing or not, but there seems to be like a tree in the middle of the site, of yeah. both sites. Yeah, which isn't a big deal because like at our site, we put our trailer on one side and put the truck on the other side. Yeah, just kind of, yeah, you mentioned they were private. I wouldn't really say they're private. I'd say there's a lot well, of pretty open ones there. It's not private it's like Inverie Huron or something like that. No, but it's private compared to some other ones. I guess, yeah, it's not a big open field or How anything. It's well treated. They're middle, middle of the road. Sure, something <laughs> like that. Okay. So we really love going there because we always get a great sight. Uh, the beach is great standing up at the top of the bluff. Yep. Looking down, beautiful. And then there's the Lake Huron sunsets that we love so much. But not this year. No. No. We uh, haven't got much in the line of that because of the Alberta smoke. Is yeah, the wildfires is? from Alberta. Yeah. So it created hampering a haze our, in the sky. Yeah, they're hampering our sunset view. So I tried to do a sunset time lapse and the sun went down and set behind haze before it ever got to the horizon. Mm. So uh, unfortunately, we didn't get our good Lake Huron sunsets. We'll have to keep trying. But we promise you, it does happen beautiful sunsets yes, here. Yes, we just well, didn't maybe we should them. put in some uh, photos from previous. Yeah. So there's a lot to see outside of the park. Um, there used to be a, a store across the road from yeah. the park, but it is closed down now. And I don't know what's gonna happen with the future of that, but um, you could get everything there and play mini golf. But just down the road, well, not far is an 18 hole golf course. There's a couple- Right next door. Yep, yeah, there's a couple uh, food, what are they, little, food little stands rest, and restaurants trucks and stuff or yeah. something. And there's a, an antique barn, which we were planning to go to, but. Uh, we, we lost transportation for a yeah, while. Yes, so if anybody has pictures of the inside, I'd like to see it. <laughs> and then Godrich is only seven kilometers away. There's a lot to do in Godrich. Beautiful little town of yeah. Godrich. As you saw, we went to the, uh, uh, the farmer's bridge. market there. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, and then we did uh, some nice hiking on the Minnesotong Bridge, mm -hmm. which turns into a trail. And we it's an old ate. rail trail. That yeah. rail trail would actually get us all the way home here to Kitchener yeah. if we kept on it. Yeah. And then we ate at the uh, fish and chips. We had a fish and chips place. That was that was, uh, was right really there. good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So oh, and the beach. There's a beach, a great beach. Oh yeah, the Godrich Beach Harbor. Yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah. 
And then it it's has nice to drive uh, down. all those exercise stations yeah, along the beach. Yeah, lots of playgrounds for the kids. Uh, it's a great place to take your kids. Mm -hmm. So all in all, uh, we think it's a it's a great park in a great location. Mm -hmm. um, we're very happy with it. And for our purposes on this trip of getting together with friends and hanging out and having a good time, it served us very well. Mm -hmm. And then it hit the oh, fan. Oh, yeah. Yeah, when we were at the minute. minute Minnesotong. Minnesotong Bridge. So we're getting ready to go back to the campsite and our truck did not want to start. It was mad. Yeah. I just put the key in the ignition, turned, nothing. Not a click, nothing. Still had full power of everything, the radio, all the lights and everything, but nothing. So tried to do a little bit of diagnosis from looking online. Uh, luckily, we had a lot of friends there. Everybody kind of came up to the general consensus that it was the starter. Now, you even asked me if I wanted you to film. And I said no, yeah. because, well, first, I was a little annoyed uh, and a little bit stressed because our truck wasn't starting. Right. And, uh, you know, we were on a Sunday of a long weekend, and yeah. I knew we couldn't get any help. And we had our trailer that we had to get out on Tuesday, Tuesday. and I knew... No garages were opening until Tuesday. Yeah, it was a bad situation. Yeah, so there's that part. Plus, <clears throat> I didn't see any real value in it because uh, we weren't going to be showing you any fix to do or anything like that. So we didn't film it at all. Just took a couple of pictures of the mm -hmm. truck on the uh, being towed, that sort of thing. Um, and then uh, uh, we had it towed to a Ford dealership, the closest one. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, Tuesday morning, the day that we had to leave, uh, on long weekends, we really try not to leave on Monday because of the massive lineups to the dump station. So, did I say massive and dump in the same sentence? Anyway, <laughs> uh, the big lineups to the dump station. The Monday morning long weekend ritual. The long line to the dump station. Um, so we were leaving on Tuesday. Tuesday morning, 8 a.m., I called that Ford dealership and said, here's the problem and I'd really like to get it looked at right away because my trailer's here and I need to get it out of the park and get it home. And I was told I'm out of luck. They're booking a couple weeks ahead and they can't do anything for me. Not until June. Right. It's and a little late. Uh, requested that I remove my truck from their property. So <sighs> it was quite stressful. It was quite a stressful morning. Mm -hmm. In the end, it all worked out. Um, I ended up having the truck towed all the way back to Kitchener. Uh, well, to Waterloo, to Parkway Ford. I knew they'd take care of me. They're our usual uh, Ford dealer. Um, and then uh, our friends, Patty and Dilly, uh, I went with them. They packed up. I went with them, drove to their place, dropped off the trailer, and then they loaned me their truck. And I drove back to Point Farms with their truck. It's a Dodge Ram. A Ram saved us. Oh, well. I guess it's good after all. Yeah. So uh, we picked up the trailer then, and Cheryl and uh, Jax, Jax, and we brought it home. And on the drive home, we get a call from Parkway Ford. Hey, we've got your truck in. Mm -hmm. We've had a look at it. It's the starter. It's end of day today, so we can't put it in, but we'll put it in first thing in the morning for you. That's good service. So that was awesome. Mm -hmm. So that's exactly what happened. The next day, we uh, got our truck back. So we're very pleased. But we need to give the park a rating. Yes. It is a great little park. Yeah. Even though there, there's not really kayaking and canoeing. Because yeah. uh, Lake Huron's very unpredictable. You know, we talked about this before, and before you mentioned an eight, and I was actually thinking like a seven and a half. Mm. Just because there isn't a lot to do at the park. We, for what we're doing, we're just hanging out with friends. It was great. Yeah, but you can hike and bike and the bluffs and the, the do the stairs. Yeah, well, <laughs> you don't a need a stairmaster. But yeah, the, the hikes are, are not that big, and uh, you do them all in one afternoon. Um, the beach is really nice. Dog beach is really nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, it's, it's nice, but there's not a lot to do there if you're spending a week or something like that. So I think it's seven and a half. What do you think? I still kind of like the eight. <laughs> well, uh oh. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> it's an eight. Yay! Eight it is. Oh, and for those of you who are asking, let me go get Kingston. Okay, there we go, Kingy. Some of you are asking. Kingston is still with us. <laughs> he doesn't camp a lot with us anymore because 
He is 14 years old. Yeah, and, he's uh, a little old and grumpy, right, he's, buddy? He's slowed down a lot yeah. in the last little while. Oh, so okay. he stays home. Okay. Oh, don't let him up there. Oh, well. He stays home <laughs> with uh, our kids who work from home, and they like having him home anyway. So uh, that's what we do now. And we give him a little break by taking Jax away. Yeah, he likes that. He's just a single dog kind of home, or a single home dog. <laughs> what is it? Sing anyway, yeah, he likes to be alone. So, okay. let's get on with the video. That's Point Farms. Next, we are off to Darlington. Yes, We're going to yes, be doing that in a couple Darlington. of weeks. And we'll be recording that for yeah, you. So stay tuned. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Camping with the Coles. Let's, Let's go! go!